You have been on a lot of awesome shows. Two of my favorites, actually, Walking <laughs> Dead and American Horror Story. I'm kind of a cult fan, so I'll try not to dork out on you too much. But um, <laughs> So um, I guess the first question I wanted to ask you is that you have acted next to some amazing performers like Melissa McBride, Andrew Lincoln, John Carroll Lynch. That's got to be super intimidating. Um, so did they give you any acting advice or anything that helped you become a better actor? Or would you say that, how has that helped you in your career? They have inspired me to work hard and keep doing what I'm doing because they're just so dedicated with it, you know? I mean, it's just inspired me never to give up on the acting and it's something I'm going to stick with. Cool. How did you get started acting? All right, it's kind of a funny story. You know that old Disney movie, Bolt? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so I watched that when I was about six years old. And the parts that they're filming a movie in L.A., I thought, okay, that'd be fun. So I constantly barraged my mom. Is that the right word? I think so. Something okay, like yeah. that. We get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I constantly barraged my mom with the question, can I be an actor? Can I be an actor? So... A month or two later, she finally said yes, and I actually booked the role of Tiny Tim in Christmas Carol, which, the audition, if we ever had it on tape, it was adorable. <laughs> what, I what I decided to do was to sing a song from Mamma Mia, <laughs> and I said, okay, I only want to sing one word of it. Okay. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> um, it went great, so that, that helped me book the audition, I mean, the role of Tiny Tim. Awesome. It's probably because I was really cute. Yeah. So, um, so that kicked me off, and after a while as Tiny Tim, I actually got into a couple of small short film roles, and I got into a little YMCA commercial, and then that actually got me out there a bit, so then a while after that, I finally booked a, a big TV show. You know, I was Revolution. I, I was in Revolution. Mm -hmm. I was Young Danny funny thing was it was on the episode he died but um, <laughs> um yeah so that kind of kicked me off and here I am there you are <laughs> all right well you've moved up since then for sure you know doing some some pretty big roles now mm -hmm. um so what do you think your most fun moment on set has been so far my most fun moment in anything you've acted in Anything I've acted in. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't say the part in American Horror Story where Twisty pulls the head out of the bag. <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of that, actually, I didn't act. My mom didn't let me. Didn't actually make me see what the head looked like. Okay. So I had no idea about it before the scene, and so she did. We did it, and she asked me, "Well, Major, are you okay? I, I didn't mean to not tell you about that, but um, I said." Oh, no, that was awesome. It was so detailed. But, um, <laughs> never mind that. Let's talk about the walking <laughs> dead and funny moments. Everybody calls me the baby whisperer. I'm really good with little kids and babies alike. Um, they're, they actually always have two twins on the set of The Walking Dead to play the role of Judith. So okay. they both have two different personalities. One's more solemn, one's more playful for the more happy scenes. So, but they actually had me off screen during the scene where they're walking into the actual room to have the party and the welcoming of Alexandria. Ooh. Um, they had me outside the door off screen, keeping the baby happy. So do you have any siblings? How did you, how did you learn how to do that? Oh yeah, um, I actually have a little brother named Cooper. He just okay. turned nine. I never really specifically learned how to be good with little babies, but it's just, I don't know, it's just something I'm good at. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's actually a good lead into another question I had. So, you have been in a lot of really scary shows. <laughs> they scare me to yes. death. So, I'm wondering, you know, how does, how does your mom deal with that? Like, do they let you watch the shows after you make them? Like, how do you prepare for it, and what do you do to not be scared? Well... In American Horror Story, I had only seen, like, okay, unauthorized. I had only seen one <laughs> one episode of Asylum, 
with a couple of kids. But um, that was it before I booked the actual American Horror Story role. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that was the extent of it. But after I booked it, we had we were able to see some episodes like on and off, pause, play, fast forward, slow down. No, okay, that's not accurate. Um, <laughs> but yeah, actually, I mean. Once I get used to it, it's very it's very easy and it's not as scary for me. But there's always new things being come up with, and that's just what's amazing about you know The Walking Dead. You never know what Scott Gimple has up his sleeve. There's always something new, something old being brought back, but in a whole new way. So if you could play another character in Walking Dead, which one would you pick? Which one's your favorite and why? Like that exists? Mm hmm. Okay. Rick. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to die too quickly because, well, Rick knows about the entire apocalypse. He's been through it. So that's why I would want to be Rick because he has a huge understanding, he has good strategy, he's pretty good with a gun. He's definitely a survivor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the zombie apocalypse happened in real life, I, I would probably survive for like a month. <laughs> not too good of a shot. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. So how do you balance the responsibilities of your acting career with being a kid, having fun with your friends, that kind of stuff? Do you ever find it stressful, or is it pretty easy for you? Is it just something you enjoy? It's... Well, it's more than something that I enjoy. It's my life. Um, but the ability to maintain myself being a kid, it's not all that hard because in my normal life, I just play with Rubik's Cubes. I collect cameras. <laughs> um, I play with my little brother. We play video games. It's just, I mean, sure, sometimes it can be kind of stressful, slightly hard, but it's... Not that bad. Okay. And it sounds like you have a pretty supportive family, so. Yes. <laughs> I think they're probably the most supportive family in the world. So tell us a little bit about um, the new roles that you have coming up. Like, what are you looking forward to? What are you excited about? Well, I'm still Sam, actually. Um... But even when I'm not on the show, we are always looking for the next big thing, the next big shebang. Well, it shouldn't be very hard for you at this point. I mean, it sounds like you've pretty much got it stacked up. So, <laughs> um, Let's see. What else? I would love to know what are some of your favorite TV shows that you guys watch at your house? All right. For what? We all watch, well, of course, The Walking Dead, but um, one of our other favorite sitcoms to watch, okay, I quoted that like, The Walking Dead's a sitcom. <laughs> that would actually be a pretty funny show. <laughs> like, The Secret Life of Walkers. Um, let's see. I like it. We like to watch that show Blackish on ABC. It's really darn funny. Um, we watch Modern Family. Okay. We like to watch The Mill. Um... I honestly like to watch Top Gear on my own. I'm a huge fan. You are? Yeah. I used um, to be an okay. aircraft mechanic. Quick so. workout. <laughs> Why did Jeremy Clarkson have to get so mad over a hot meal? He's like the main you really person are into in the it, show. Huh? <laughs> All right, um, so I'm you're a little bit of a, a, a car slash techie nerd then. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I guess... The last question I have for you is, um, what do you think, as far as your acting career, what do you think that you've learned by acting with so many amazing actors? I know you said, like, sticking with it, that kind of stuff, but as far as technique goes, have they offered you any kind of awesome acting tips that other people your age could take to heart? has made me a better person because it's just made me more open to the world and what could happen, what couldn't happen, what to expect. Um, but 
the tips for the for the actual acting itself, I've had so many of them. It's just it's it's amazing. I mean, I have worked with so many amazing people too. I mean, like for example, John. He's taught me to actually, well, if I remember correctly, he's taught me to think as the character, which I know sounds generic, but he's taught me to do it in an entire new way. He's taught me to, like, think of their life story from the bottom up, mm -hmm. and then put yourself into that character's mindset, and then just keep yourself there for possibly just days on end if you have to, to get yourself there. But it's like I said, Walking Dead, I mean, acting has taught, Walking Dead has taught me a lot too. <laughs> acting has taught me a lot of things. It's taught me how to be more social, how to be friends with people even better. And it just taught me how to act, which has been just changed my life. It's has been a road that I've never expected to be on. Great. I thought I would just be an office job worker. But <laughs> so is there anything else that you would like our um, audience to know about you? Like what kind of stuff you like to do in your private life, like in your personal time? I know you said you like collecting cameras and things like that. I'm a strange child, okay? <laughs> um, that's what, like I said, my camera collection, I have 33 of them now. I don't know why I like them, okay? Are they all new, or do you have older ones, too? Alright, this kind of sums it up for me. My oldest one's from 1916. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> yeah. Um... Like I said, when I'm not acting, I live a normal, casual life, which, as I've told you, is interrupted by quite a few interesting things. Um, I like to draw. I've been drawing three-dimensional drawings since I was about eight years old. It was from a little, it was from a cover of a book that I got interested from it in. Um, I used to like to jump on my trampoline, even though it had to be. All right, well, I think we are actually out of time over here, but thank you so much for your time, and we're looking forward to distributing this to everybody that reads our blog. So, Thank you for giving me your time. You are very welcome, and thanks for letting me ask you some questions about my favorite shows. No problem. All right, have a good day. You too. Okay, bye-bye.